Alright, hey everyone, dcov 13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Rune Factory 3. Now, I believe I've progressed a sufficient amount of time, uh, to where we're gonna start with the child, so let's talk to Carmen. Oh, wait, hold on. Morning! Morning! Good morning. Hey! So yes, okay, this is the combo. Because I, I actually triggered the combo off screen. Because I, I was certain I was told, oh, you have to wait a month after you get married. It's been like maybe three weeks. Actually, no, I, I don't even think that long. Maybe even shorter. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, ooh, John, listen. I've got big news. You're not going to believe this. Huh? What is it? I'm pregnant. Really? What? Uh, really? Uh, yeah? You'd know I'd never lie about anything this big. Come on! Man, things are about to get busier than ever. A baby, huh? That's wonderful news. Hey! Isn't it? So are you hoping for a boy or a girl? Oh, well, either's fine by me. True enough. It's not like we'll know until they arrive, right? Whether it's a boy or a girl, we're gonna love them to bits all the same. Man, I can hardly wait. I wonder which one of us, uh, which of us they're gonna take after more. All right. So now that I've triggered that, uh, I will come back when it's time. So I'll see you all then. All right. So today should be the day, if I have done my math right. So apparently I had the time frame wrong. Because, you know, the website I was looking at was wrong. So it's 21 days after you get married, your spouse will tell you that they're pregnant. And then, uh, what is it? Another 12 days after that. And it'll be time to have the baby. So, that should be correct. So let's talk to Carmen. Good morning. Wonder when the baby's going to arrive. What is it? Wait, is it time? We need to get you to Marjorie right away. John. Hey! Look, John, our baby's here. Aren't they just the mo tiniest, most adorable little thing you've ever seen? Oh, they really are. You did great, Carmen. She looks just like you, John. Oh. You're right. Something about the eyes. Wait, maybe even the nose, too. Right? So hurry up and come up with a name for this little cutie. Make sure it sounds awesome, okay? Yeah, we'll go with Lara. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, isn't Lara the name of uh, one of the marriage candidates? I think from the first game, maybe? Wasn't she like the priestess or something? Or the nun? I think something like that. I could be wrong, though. It's been a while since I looked at Rune Factory 1. Lara. I love it! That's your name, Lara. Yes, it is. Welcome to our family, Lara. I'm so happy to finally meet you. <laughs> We've got our work cut out for us now, John. <laughs> yup. But this is one job I won't mind working hard at. And so the seasons passed. Trouble there, Zane. <laughs> Those joyous days passed in the blink of an eye, as such days often do. The new life they brought into the world was welcomed with open arms by all, from Sharon's to the Univere settlement. As one peaceful day led to another, an entire year passed in the blink of an eye. Thank you. Did you say something? No, just thinking aloud. For a year, our child grew up a lot. Hey, Lara. Morning. 
Morning to you too. I love you, Daddy. Aww. Um, so yeah. That that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the child doesn't do anything special. They don't leave the house. You can't raise your friend points with them. You cannot uh, play with them or really do much of anything. You can't invite them to go with you on adventures. Yeah, Th they pretty much just hang out around the house. They interact with the furniture in your house if you have any, but uh, that's it. Uh, apparently, you can also have two more children if you so much if you so want, but uh, you know that that's just more waiting. So I'm I'm just gonna stick with the one and. There's really no difference in them. Like, if you have uh, another girl, she looks exactly the same. So, there's really no reason for me to go for more of the children. You know, there's no, like, nothing unique about it. Um, I think that's probably going to be it, then. So, I think... No, no, I did newlywed mode before uh, the child in this one. So I guess I'm just going to have this child stuff leading into the newlywed uh, part. Just because, you know, th these two short little fragments aren't enough to do an entire video on. I wouldn't do that. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll just have this right before the uh, newlywed episode, which means this is probably the finale of Rune Factory 3. I don't think there's anything really left for me to do in the game in the main game here aside from like doing the Sharon's maze but I I'm probably just gonna tackle that off screen like there's no point in me doing that on screen or anything um so yeah we'll be finishing this today well today for you guys tomorrow for me I I'm gonna call it the night on recording here and just record the new Lewitt episode tomorrow. Uh, but yeah. After we do the new Lewitt episode, I'll give my final thoughts, and then that'll be it for Rune Factory 3. A lot shorter than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. Um, I, I guess it makes sense, though. They didn't really start fleshing these out until 4. I mean, you know, because they thought 4 was gonna be the last one. And for all we knew for a long time, it was. Um... Not that I don't enjoy going back and playing these older ones, but I will admit the age certainly does show. Like you can definitely tell, like yeah, this is a this is a DS era game. But I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If anything, I'm looking forward to how they're gonna do two and one with their inevitable special remakes. I, I think those will be fun. J just like with 3. I, I, I won't say it's my favorite. My, my favorite will still be, and for, for the foreseeable future, will still be 4. You know, until we see 6 and uh, that spin-off one they're doing. The one with the uh, East and West. That, that one looks pretty cool, too. Or no, uh, the, the Eastern-style one. Right, because the Western-style one is the mainline 6. Had to remember that for a second there. Yeah, no, th those both look really good, and I'm excited to hear some more news about those from the uh, from the American accounts of uh, that uh, talk about Rune Factory. So, yeah, I'll, I'll call it here. Uh, it's a end of the recording for me, but you guys, just a quick little second, you'll be seeing the newlywed episode. So, I'll see you all over there. All right, everyone, we're back here to finally start up newlywed mode. Alright, so let's hit new game, and we will go down to Carmen's newlywed mode. So once again, I will be uh, John. And just like files, fine. <sighs> Man. Hey. Hey. 
Sheesh, Carmen, what's wrong? You've been sighing over and over for a while now. What? No way. Was I really that loud? Uh, yeah. Really. Sorry. Uh, oh, man. I'm sorry. You okay? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say something's weighing on your mind. We're, uh, we're kind of in a tight spot. Huh? Um, um, not to be too mean or anything, but it's not exactly as if you were swimming in customers before. Don't I know it. We're stuck in the red more often than not. But this time it sounds like we're really up a creek without a paddle. Man. Carlos came by to see me and said we might actually have to shut down. Right? I'll admit that we've been skirting the edge, just barely keeping our heads above water, but it's never been so bad that we have to close up. For Carlos to say something like that, it's got to be really serious. <sighs> You're right. He's not the type of guy who'd make, make his baby sister worry unnecessarily. Carmen, I'm so sorry. That sucks. You've been trying so hard to help Carlos' resort expand. this rate, never mind number one in the world. He'll go away completely. We can't let that happen. I wonder if there's anything we can do to help. Hey. Any idea where we can start? Well, no business is getting anywhere without customers. We need to reel them in by the droves. Our bread and butter are the occasional big tour groups coming through. We, uh, don't get much business otherwise. Makes sense. So then it sounds like we should start local. Drum up some interest in Carlos's resort is a great place to visit. We're gonna need some kind of heckin' good promotion this time. That said, I'll be honest. Nothing's springing to mind. Hey, what about if we just, you know, go talk to everyone in person? Maybe they could help? Oh, of course. What are we waiting for? Let's go ask. Oh, yeah. Right, it's time to begin Operation Save Carlos's Resort. All right. Oh wait, there's Shino over there. Good morning. Good morning. Very good morning to you, John. Good morning. <laughs> oh, Bean Toss contest coming up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, let's just go to Sharon's Pond Way. I thought I had to talk to people. I forgot. It's a uh, set set things you have to do in this. Who should we ask first? I see Colette and Saki over there. Why don't we start with them? Yep. Good idea. Let's go. Hey, hey Colette, Saki. Hey. Hi there, Carmen. Look, you look like you're doing great today. Man. Nope. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> Says the one who sounds chipper as a chip squeak with a nut. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. But I've got serious problems right now, honest. What? Wow, Carmen, you're actually worried about something? John, what the heck is going on here? Carmen is worried! Hmm. There's gonna be a typhoon tomorrow. No, a blizzard. The blizzard of a century. Yay. I know this isn't normal for me, but do you have really have to go that far? <laughs> the thing is, we're both a bit out of sorts after finding out that Carlos's resort is in dire straits. Dire straits? It ain't like you ever done booming business on the regular. Well, yeah, but still. But you know, they're actually bring that they're actually bringing it up probably means it's got to be serious. It's true. Carlos even said he was thinking about shutting the whole thing down. Are you serious? What? Now that is serious. That's what I've been trying to say. We're racking our brains trying to come up with some kind of emergency plan to pull it back from the brink. We really could use some ideas. Why do you think Carlos' resort ought to do to boost business? <laughs> if it's advice you need, you came to, right, to the right place. I'm aiming to be a master chef. So that means I have, uh, I have to know lots about fish and the like. And Saki is a merchant. 
But not only that, we do love us some fish. Especially sashimi. <coughs> Going by those qualifications, they really are the perfect people to ask about this. Now what do you two think? Are there any sorts of things you'd like us to offer at the resort? Well, I suppose the biggest thing I'd want is... I'd want to have is fresh, tasty fish to eat when I stop by. You can say that again. Fish freshly caught, sliced into sashimi right on the spot. Mm, just thinking about it makes my, takes, makes my taste buds sing. Sounded like the two of you would like it if you could get fresh fish to eat at the resort. Right. You know it. I mean, there's nothing fresher than making sashimi out of, out of the fish you just caught. <clears throat> then what if we had tons and tons of, say, skipjack there for you to catch? You'd be happy? Huh? What? Skipjack sashimi? That'd be the best! Ooh, and not just sashimi. It's scrumptious no matter how you cook it. <laughs> Having some of that added to what's offered would be awesome. I mean, skipjack fried up in a little bit of oil? Mm-mm. Whew, now we're talking! Hey. Man, all this is really useful to know. Yep. You betcha! I never would have thought all that! Thank you! You two are a big help. Thanks a bunch! Yep. Sure thing. <laughs> Good luck to you. Alright. Maybe we should ask a few more people for ideas. There's more than one type of fish in the sea, after all. Hey. Sounds good to me. Well, I see Pia and Shara over there. Yep. Great, let's go, go, go! Hey. Shara, Pia! Oh. oh, hello, you two. Well, what can we do for you? Hey there. Ooh, ooh, are you two out on the town together today? That's adorable, I'm jealous! We're not so much out on the town as out of ideas. Me and John are looking for ideas to save Carlos's resort. Save Carlos's resort? Gosh, that sounds really important. What's going on? See, uh, Carlos's resort is kind of in a pickle financially. What? A pickle? Oh my gosh, that sounds bad! We were hoping to pick your brains about some stuff, if you don't mind. Yes! If the two of us can be of some small help, then gladly. Right, Pia? Yeah. Nippers, you bet. Thank you. Thanks, you two. Ooh, thanks. Here's the big question. What could we have in Carlos's resort to make you be like, I wanna go hang out there? Squid. Squid? Yeah. Yep, because I love squid. Oh, but Carlos's resort is a fishing hole, isn't it? Hey. I feel so bad for the poor fishies that get caught by fishers. Adding squid to it would be inconceivable. No, really, I'm not squidding around. <laughs> you do really love your fishies, Pia. Yep, I do. <laughs> now I'm doing it too. In Squidentally, Carlos's resort being a fishing spot kind of disqualifies it right off the uh, tentacle. <laughs> to tell the truth, I'm not a particularly skilled angler myself. If fishing is all that's offered, I'm not sure I'd find much to do. Et tu, Shara? But a fishing hole does have lots of fishies, right? I don't want to catch them, but I'd love to meet them. Wonderful! Oh, that's a lovely idea. We don't get to see too many unusual fish around here. If the resort had rare ones on display, I'd be excited to go see them. <laughs> oh, no, there's an idea. Draw in people by offering something other than fishing. Yes! Right! Man, I never would have thought of offering more things to do at a fishing hole. Would you, Carmen? That's a really fresh take. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely making a note of that one. Thank you. Thanks so much. Well. You're welcome. We gla we're glad to help. Good luck. <laughs> Let me know if you have any rare fishies moving. <laughs> well, we've gotten some good community feedback now, so... Any thoughts, Carmen? My mind's chewed on in a bit, and I think I've got it all figured out. First, we want to have fresh, tasty fish you can eat right at the resort. Second, we should add rare and unusual fish for people to see. Yeah. Right. That's basically the consensus so far. Yay! In other words, the biggest thing Carlos's resort lacks right now is... New fish! I just need to catch a whole bunch of new fish and add them to our stock. How much we know, but... Isn't that easier said than done? 
Yeah, uh, you do have a point there. Or at least you would if you weren't talking to the Angler Master. I've totally got this. Really? Um... Would you mind helping me, John? I'm happy you asked. I'm happy you asked. I'm glad to help you out in any way I can. How could I not want to back you up when you're always giving it your all in whatever you're doing? So, what kinds of fish do you want me to catch? It's probably a good idea to gather up as much fresh and tasty fish as we can. Which means... Hmm... John, I need you to catch three skipjack. That many should be a good start. Yeah. Gotcha. I'd rather you devote as much time as this to you can, but... From as dire as Carlos made things sound, we might only have a matter of days. Maybe three at best? Wow, uh, that's really soon? Things might be way wor Things must be way worse than I thought. Man. Darn Carlos, waiting until the very last minute to mention how much trouble he's in. Uh, he's impossible. So, yeah. While you're working on that, I'm gonna be hauling in as many fish as I can, too. We've got this. Let's save Carlos's resort. Yeah. Morning! Alright. Oh, I'm glad they actually tell me. Catch three skipjack at places like Oddward Valley. Go to Carlos's resort. Okay. So three skipjack. Good morning. Uh, let, let's see if I can do this. If the goal was catching three pikes, I'd be making some good progress. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Mackerel. That's a snapper. That is a squid. Pike. Any any time that one wanted to grab the lure. Come on. These are all pikes. What? What the hell just happened? Skipjack. There we fuck. Okay, so it's the big shadows. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention there. Alright, well, I'll just go in and out until I see big shadows. Okay, 
that's two. Skipjack. That wasn't okay. That wasn't too bad. Once I knew what shadows to look for. Hello. Hello. All right. Hi, Carmen. Carlos brought the skipjack he asked for. Welcome back. Oh. Yo, John. Thanks for this, brother. Whoa. I heard from Carmen you want to help get the resort out of a bind, eh? Man, that's so awesome of you. I couldn't be blessed with a better family, I tell you. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. Hmm. Luckiest guy my foot. Jeez, Carlos. Could you be a little more serious? We could wind up losing the resort completely, you know. <sighs> hey, I am being serious. See, I'm taking my job of watching the shop very seriously. Man. And that's different than normal how exactly. <laughs> oh, right, I almost got distracted. John, I caught a whole bunch of skipjack, too. Did I stop there? No, sirree. I reeled in a lot of other tasty fish, too. <laughs> so, now I've got a whole bunch of fish ready to go draw on those people who are looking for yummy fresh fish. Oh, stuck in the fishing hole with fish that are both fun to catch and tasty to eat, eh? Great plan. Oh, yeah. Here I was wondering what I wanted to do for dinner. Sashimi or a grill, or a grill of those sounds... Uh, now, sashimi or a grill of these now sounds delicious. Hey. They aren't for you, Carlos. They're for the customers. But I told you, business has been slow. Because that dinner's been awfully slim pickings these days. I'm dying for something nice and juicy. Uh, well, I guess it's okay if you have a little. For you. If you're that hard up, Carlos, you're welcome to come eat with us sometime. We can't serve anything really fancy, but it'll be tasty and filling. Thanks. Really, John? Bro, you're the best. <sighs> the salty sea breeze. It's stinging my eyes. Quite the strong breeze. Inside. Man. It's not like you need a nanny, Carlos. Come on. Coming. Hey, what do I have to worry about when I've got some, such a uh, competent and amazing baby sister who's, who's always got my back? I mean, just this batch of fish you've brought ought to keep things going for at least a little bit. How much is a bit? Hmm, in terms of days, maybe three? Huh? Wow, uh, you really are skirting the line. Been a while since we last had a tour group come through. <laughs> John, we're on the clock here. Doomsday approaches. We need to do something and fast. Agreed. The other idea was the rare fish thing, right? Yeah, some sun squid ought to fill the bill. Think you can handle that? Count on ya. And sorry, since we don't have many days left, three is all you can really spend on getting them. Hey! Counting on the two of you. Don't wor don't you worry about me though. I'll keep a real close eye on the shop while you're gone. Uh, excuse us. How about you come help too? Oh yeah! Okay, one sun squid at Sol Terano. Oh, thank fucking god. That took way too fucking long. I wonder how much I'm gonna have to... I'm already an hour in the recording. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut out so much bullshit. Oh, fuck me in the ass, dude. Oh, that was terrible. Oh my god. I hated every second of that. Hello. Hey, Carmen. Carlos. I'm back. I have the sun squid you asked for. 
I'm welcome home, John. I only just made it back here myself. Hey. Yo, John, you're back. Got some fish to hand in? Thanks, brother. <laughs> there, now customers who aren't big fishers will still have a reason to come visit the resort. Man, the idea of people would come to a fishing resort and not fish is so weird to me. Like I stepped into another dimension or something. Yeah, but it'll still work. We need to bring in all the customers we can. Hey, Carlos. How's business been lately? Hey. Better. Loads better. Thanks to those fish you caught earlier, we're now getting a bunch of people coming by who are looking forward to eating their catch. <laughs> business is way better than it was, that's for sure. <laughs> Glad to hear it. And all those rare fish ought to, uh, to see ought to get people, uh, more customers to flock in as well. Yeah, about that. Uh, See, uh, I'm planning on closing up for a while starting tomorrow. What? Why? Hey. What? After all we're done, you're gonna turn around and use it as an excuse to slack off. If you are Carlos, then I'm gonna... Whoa, cool it, Carmen. Calm down. Yeah, I've done more work lately than usual, but that's not it. See, one of the machines we used broke down. Like, totally kaput. Can't open up even if I wanted to. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, that one has been real iffy for a while. For it to pick now of all times to finally kick the bucket. Man, things were finally starting to get back on track. Can you afford a new one? Just the money we made in the last few days? Nah, not even close. Aw, oh, we worked so hard, too. Are you sure there isn't anything we can do? Quick patch job won't last long, but it might hang in there until we raise enough cash to buy a new one. The only problem is we're gonna need magic crystals for that repair. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ah well, guess it just wasn't in the cards, eh? Oh, yeah. It'll be a shame to close up the place for good. Maybe this is my chance to start living out my seafaring dreams. Carlos, wait. I'll get you those magic crystals. John? Carmen. Alright, I felt like I was drowning for a sec there, but now I'm feeling better. Yep. Let's go find ourselves some magic crystals. Oh. Sweet, I'll get the prep work rolling so we can dive right into the repair as soon as you're back. I'm counting on the two of you. Alright. Now this one should be uh, a lot less fucking painful than relying- I mean, this is still relying on random chance, mind you. But, uh, you know. Uh... Okay, Little Wizards or Tundra in Vale River. So let's head over to Vale River, then. We need five. There we go. Five. Okay, a lot less painless than the Sun Squid. Ah, for fuck's sake. Hey, Carlos. We're back with those magic crystals you needed. That's all you need to fix the machine, right? There you two are. It took you long enough. Okay, take this guy, tinker with this, bang on that, oh. and fixed. <laughs> it's mostly spit and glue, but uh, it ought to hold, at least for a little while. If customers keep coming like they have been these last few days, I think we'll finally be out of this hole. Thanks. Thank you so much, John. I'm glad I got to marry you two. Hello? Forgetting someone you two? Uh, Carlos, I'm sorry. We, uh, we didn't. Uh, what are you staring at, Carlos? Come on, really? You two are standing, like, right in front of me. Ah, whatevs. Seeing you so gaga for each other warms my heart. 
two of you working together, no matter how choppy the waters get, I'm sure we'll all be able to sail right on through, just like we did this time. So, hey, we busted our butts, yeah? How's it all actually turning out? Is the resort reeling in the big bucks? Hey. Ah, that. Well, we're back in the black. Uh, we're well in the black for the first time in I don't know how long. Heck, I think we're more making more than we ever did before. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> That's great news. Oh, yeah. Woo! Boy, if we can keep popping out cool ideas like the ones we just did, making Carlos's resort the greatest, the world's greatest isn't a total dream after all. Hey! Heck, since we have to buy a new machine anyway, why not go all out and get one that's top of the line? Man, actually having spare cash to spend is such a giddy feeling. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. It's been so long since we pulled in this much that it's got me real excited. Oh, yeah. So excited that I went all out and splurged on this really amazing fishing pole for myself. God damn it, Carlos. Huh? Oops. Carlos? Uh, Carlos? Wait, no, it's not what you think. It, it's actually a good investment. Really? I mean, it's stu if stuff goes south and I do have to close up resort, this rod will be my one last lifeline. Carlos? Whoa, 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 Carmen? Calm down, calm down! John, bro, you gotta help me here! Sorry, Carlos. This one's... I don't think I can stop her. Well... Kinda did it to yourself, my man. All right. So ends newlywed mode, and that'll bring about an end to uh, Room Factory Three as a whole. So all in all, I rather enjoyed the game. It was nice. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite though. I de I definitely still like four the best. I'd say I probably even put this one behind five. Um, but even so, for what it is, it's rather enjoyable. It definitely feels short compared to uh, other games, but I don't really think that's a bad thing. Because I mean, with I guess with these types of games, you don't want the story drag it on like forever. Th this one's quite to the point. I, I just wish, like, some parts of it were fleshed out a little, maybe a little bit more. Like, especially for this remake. Like, I would have hoped for maybe a little bit more. But, all in all, you know, it's true to the Rune Factory 3 experience, I guess. So, I, I can't say it's, like, bad. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's something I enjoyed playing. <laughs> just, but... You, you guys are not going to believe how much I have to fucking cut out of this episode. Uh, boy, was that bad. <laughs> but no, the new load episode was cute. It was nice. I, I liked it. I like that they added those in for the, these remakes. A little bit more time with the, uh, with your spouse. It's nice. Uh, so yeah, on that note, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed my journey through Rune Factory 3. I cannot wait until uh, Marvelous comes along and decides to remake Rune Factory 2 and 1 as well. As well as the new ones we're getting. Uh, sometime. <laughs> uh, but when they do come out, uh, guaranteed I will be playing them day one. So, I suppose I'll see you all for whatever I'm doing next. Alright. Bye.